welcome back to another episode of Let Cry. So, as I said, I have done a little bit of grinding. So, because I'd like to remake my whole army, I mean, some I won't remake, you know, like musketeers and all that. Horsemen I want to remake, for sure. But the people with staffs, for sure. Probably been, yeah, keep bowmen right here, right here. Delete you, delete you. It's crazy. Now, I've got new weapons and all that, but yeah. My how beards. Um, let's get this plate armor for them. No. This will be, you know, running alongside um, Santa Coliseum. If you haven't seen that, that is. Then that's fine. Let's see. Yeah, you can see I got stuff like Angelic Staff, <coughs> Warbow, and got some new legendaries. Down here, you get Zero's Ring, which raises an additional dead warrior for every one in the army that raises. And insect a clean armor, which is the insectoid larva form. So you got some new accessories. Polar bear Paul is a man. So. Wow, this makes you eat everything but dart. This is what you typically see. Power armor, though. Don't think I'll need that, honestly. Yeah, I'm hoping I can do this tonight. Not tonight, today. Because if not, I'm going to be forever sad. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna use Drown Shield then. What can be used with it? That dagger. Okay. Eh, I really like a sword. Six of you. So yeah. It is what it is. Save you. Create. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um. Hold on. <coughs> oh my God, man. Sorry. <coughs> what am I gonna want though for this roll? No. <coughs> I do know. Um. Let's go for. Let's see, probably fire. <clears throat> Fire's like something I throw. Y'all. Um, but, but that's uh, not. Well, not a spicy vest I'd want to wear. Lightning robe? Bah. Um, hmm. There's only one of these guys, though. I, mean, I said half plates were better because they offer warm. I think I'm gonna hit him with power armor though. And let's give him a mace. Special. Hmm. Probably Rhino. There we go. Get our Rhino mans up in here. Don't. Well, I think this is the road where the guy's at, so. I'm up here. To some orcs with two handed swords in here. And, um. Oh, half plates. There we go. I could probably get them war horses, but I think that's gonna take too much, though, right? Hmm. 
Yeah. I would take too much for getting horses. I'd only be able to put down three. Boards are weaker actually. Nah. Let's just give them that. that. Save. Yeah. This I should hopefully be able to do. Bam, boom, bop, boom. Yep. Now, let's go for another orc with a war bow. And magma emblem. And I would need an armor with less than 10. If I was going to use one, which. Eh. Guess this. I did let you see your total points on this screen, but. Yeah. There we go. This is our new army. Does this one good? I do also have a multiplayer. So that's the sense of sight. And yes, you can choose between. Empires, whatever. Okay. Give an option to face the wheel on me, yay! I don't think this will work. So. We'll just have to see though. Yeah, okay. Let's do that now. Damn. Alright. Warbow Man. Okay. Man coming out of the boar. I guess high resistance against spears though. He actually I think resists all these attacks that's hitting him. I don't think it actually really matters to him. Believe it or not. As they die. Oh. I could actually win this then. Okay. Let's see. Barely. <clears throat> Act 2 is now done. So the grinding was worth it. Because at least these elementals in it. <clears throat> Congratulations. Act 3 is now available. The Emperor is astonished of your victory. He knew of your potential to be a great war command, but never would have expected you to outsmart him and overpower his forces, at least not so soon. It's a pleasant surprise, though. He is glad to have such powerful allies and feels the battle against the demonic hordes may not be lost after all. Your victory proved him right in the end. You and the other war commanders have trained hard. You will not be alone in the upcoming battle. You are awarded the leadership of the defense against further demonic attacks. The people's fate now lies in your Hands. Is it loud? 2000 gold. I got Act 3, which I think is the final one for heroes. Which, let's see. I think I got up to the Undeath Squad. Even then, I don't remember too much about this area. <clears> or <throat> this part of the act. I don't remember exactly. The sound out of tower bells thunder across the night. Villagers taken from their sleep scatter in the alleys, looking for safety for them and their loved ones. A small board trips and falls. Confused and suffering for his family, you gently help him up on his feet and point him the way to the castle. In a panic, you and your men stand calmly. You've all been preparing hard for this. Time to put it all to test. You look proudly at your army one last time and head for the observation tower while they walk towards the villages and gates. Alright, let's go. Go in. Right. Bam. So far, so good. Besides, it's gonna be hard to kill this guy though. We gotta use poison though. Yep. There we go. Oof. Oh, he's using an anti-magic field. I don't know what that does, though. I can 
we can't use magic in this one. It was got lucky if that one cast. Okay then. Pull these two out and then. Add a catapult. We don't know, this actually may just win us the whole match. Because, well, it's a catapult. And let's get going with the campaign. Because I'm happy I beat that one, because I was hoping it wouldn't take me longer than today. Because I'm kind of grinding a little bit for it, you know? Alright, let's go. Now, this should make a complete difference in this battle, though. At least that's what I'd hope. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Hmm. Catapult's not the answer here. Let's get it. gonna work. Because they have, like, insanely high defense. For their cost, at least. So we need someone who can resist, like, well, Darwin Shield's actually perfect. Get that. We don't have anything that can resist everything. I mean, that does not resist poison well. But, it's just blunt. Angus love health. So, yeah. Let's go for... I don't know. What's weird is the gamut sent in rag practically the same defense in your face with Pike. But eh, I don't know what to go for here. Maybe this. I'm only really worried about the poison part of it though. Any specials that help me with that? Ooh, a chief crown. Not what I need though. Put him on the rhino. Now. Well. Got the sword. I'm hoping this isn't too expensive though. Oh, it is. Okay. Sorry to you for a little bit, Orc Man. I think the way to do it though is to push up fast on them. So yeah, let's do that now. One, push, okay, there we go. Right. So yeah, they're gonna be pushing up faster and harder though. So they should be able to get more hits in before ultimately dying. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright, their front line's taken out. Okay, bam. Alright, there we go. Actually, no, it's a loss. Because they trade. I need to look at that guy though in the back. So I'm gonna use my second army then. See if they even have any luck. Although I doubt it. If I second this. So. He's not really that strong, it seems. Yeah, this one's using basically go through survival though. Actually, what I should probably do is focus on this part though, right here. Try to focus him out. Yeah, we lose. This definitely got closer than I thought. Okay. Okay, so I'm like my first army. So I think he was like right here then right so we don't want you in here we want you up here put you right here grab you and like come like right here I think there we go I think but we need some we need them to eat the damage though like the gunshot so maybe if I like pull them back 
This only messed up. I had two meat shields. Up to four. Because I think, yeah, I can put down a few. Let's do that as, like, me shields. You know, it's kind of messed up. Because I think another issue is that these people are actually dying a little bit too fast. I did not put them in the right spot. Concede. Yeah. You put them, like, right here. There we go. Just for the guys at. But is that longer range though? 25. 20. So he does have longer range. Which which is good. Alright, let's go. So I have to do a 10 for these episodes like 20 minutes long and not 30. But, but I do want to start a few missions out of time at least two. Every time I do an episode. There's also multiplayer that's still there when we though. So. Yeah, look at that. Alright, bam. There we go. Alright, bam. Dang it, so I haven't killed him. This is gonna be kinda stupid, but what if I stack them on top of each other like this? I know that sounds completely stupid, because it is. It honestly is. But just a what if though. So I mean I think having back here that would be better. And then have them kind of like stack like this, chew behind this, stack you in a line. What if this does work? It's kind of like last hope situation, you know? But let's see it anyway. Right. You know they shoot at A. Like three counters, yeah. There we go. There we go, bam. Alright. Well, my guy got there. Actually, yeah, we win. That crazy plan actually worked. It had been a quite a while since your last encounter with the Vermins. You must admit you didn't miss the Central One bit. Wow, I'm surprised that worked. A new threat. <clears throat> this is your last time we do a release attempt. As your men take some respite from the battle, they are quickly interrupted by vile, unnatural sounds coming from the Vermins' lifeless bodies. Skeletal figures start emerging from the fallen enemies. The sounds are ripping, fresh, crackling bones is even more nauseating than the future smell. By the time your men are back in formation, there, are, there already is an army of unbelievers and creatures of war joined by those who cause a return. This game is too hard. Look, this one was with Hey, look, a new type of cannon. Blade cannon. Which takes longer to fire, but deals more damage. Then it's also a cannon, so. Dark stuff. I'll use these. These are not the best weapons. To be truthful. A lot of people, though. Why? A lot. Alright. Punch him in. Alright. Yeah, I remember this one not being too hard, honestly. Bam. Yeah, we win. First attempt. DG easy. Alright. Here we go. Victory. Immediately, too. Some missions are harder than others, as you see there. You send your army to scout the surroundings to make sure no more surprises happen tonight. Once satisfied, you head back to town to reassure the town folk. 21,000. 
next up is Stretch Me for the next episode though. I'll catch you in the next episode on Thursday. Have a good one.